All aboard the hype train. Choo choo. Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. So yes, today we are taking an unboxing and setup guide for this, the Ledger Nano S. If you don't know what this is, this is a hardware wallet for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Dogecoin. But for the love of God, do not invest in Dogecoin. Anyway, so recently for, I mean, as long as I can remember, maybe five, six years, I've been following cryptocurrencies. It's always interested me the idea of having this decentralized currency. I'm not gonna go into details on Bitcoin here and how it works, but if you're interested, I'll leave some links down below to other people who can explain it a lot better than I can. But anyway, if you're already on this video, then you're probably interested in the Ledger Nano S and you already know what Bitcoin is and have a general idea. So very, very recently in the past sort of week or so, I've decided to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, as I start to make money on YouTube and through other means as well, I feel like it's a good investment for me and my future to put it into Bitcoin. Now, I could quite happily use a software wallet or a soft wallet. Now, this is fine, but quite easy to hack. If you leave this on your computer and you have a soft wallet on your computer, it's really easy for a hacker to find that. And if they find your 25 key passphrase, then they've got your money and they've got your Bitcoin. This is the kind of device that you would use to hold all of this offline. I can hold all of my data and Bitcoins offline with this device. It will only ever work if I plug it in and authenticate with my pin and such. So there are a couple of these on the market. This is one of the lowest end ones. It's about 60 pound. I would suggest buying it from Ledger. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. They also sell them on Amazon, but I've seen some people have had really bad experiences buying on Amazon, so maybe leave this one and buy through the actual seller, which is Ledger. So what we're gonna go ahead and do today is take a look at what we get in the box and set up this device for the first time. Of, of course, I'm gonna cut out certain parts of this because it is something that you really want to take seriously. Setting up one of these and putting your coin onto it is something that should be taken seriously. This is basically like a bank account for you. This is a physical bank account. Think of it like uh, here in the UK, we, we have Barclays and we have the Pinestry. If you have a Barclays account, you've got that, that little device that you have to put your card into, type in your pin, and then it, it's got all the codes on it. it. It's like one of those, but for Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and unbox it, take a look at what we get in the box, and also set it up for the first time using the Ledger Live application. Let's get right into this. All right, so here we are with the actual box. I've obviously got my MacBook next to me as well for when we go through that setup process. I'll put it on the screen as well. But um, looking at the packaging, th this screams Apple packaging to me. It's really nice. You've got the Ledger logo on the side and on the back, it gives you a general idea of what this one does. So it's obviously for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and you can install other cryptocurrencies on here as well. I think there's like 52 that it supports. Um, it uses Fido, uh, which is an authentication chip. It is a really good authentication chip, so you know that this is safe. As it notes, it is also open source. So if you want to view the source code for this, then you can, you know it's safe, and you know exactly what it's doing. And it is just USB. They do also sell a USB and Bluetooth one, but it's about £100, and I really didn't feel like it was necessary for just being a wallet. So let's go ahead and open the box and take a look at what we get inside. So first up, right on top, we have the device itself. I chose it in this sort of mint green color. There's loads of different colors, but it really doesn't matter. Um, as we can see, there are two buttons on the top, left and right, and there is the USB input there as well. And that's literally the device. Uh, there is no battery installed in this, so it has to be plugged in for it, in order for it to work. But let's just take the foam out of the way and have a look inside this bit here. So here is all our paperwork. I suspect it will be pretty simple paperwork, but there is something very important in here as well. So it actually says, did you notice? And I'll read this card out to you now. Basically what it's saying is there is a, a cryptographic chip on here that checks the integrity of the ledger before on every power up, basically. So if it finds that this isn't official firmware 
or for whatever reason there is something wrong with it, it will notify you straight away as soon as you load it up. So there's no like security seals on the actual device itself. On the getting started guide, it just tells us to go to the website and get the app installed, which is what we're gonna do. And we also have these recovery sheets. Now, these are really, really important. These have 24 spots because for whenever we're setting up this device, we will receive 24 different words. And these are our recovery words. We'd obviously want to write these down and I suggest doing this somewhere where there isn't a camera pointing down at it. It's really sensitive data and it is the only way that you're gonna be able to get any of your Bitcoin or wallet back. If for whatever reason you lose this device or it breaks, you can go ahead and buy another Ledger Nano S or any other hardware wallet and you can just recover it with this 24 parts phrase. But we get four of, it, four of them here. I suggest writing on a couple of them, putting them in different places. I, I, I plan to give one to my parents. I plan to put one in a safe lock safe up and everything like that. So under here as well, we get that micro USB cable. I don't really care that it's not USB-C. I, I don't plan to plug this in too often uh, other than to put money onto it or take money off of it. Um, and we get a couple of ways that we can put this around our neck. So it gives us a neck lanyard, uh, a smaller lanyard to put on your key, your key chain or whatever. I mean, you personally, I don't think I'd be carrying this thing around with me everywhere. I, I plan to put it somewhere safe and keep it somewhere safe. But what we're going to go ahead and do next is just get this all set up and move over to the Mac where we can download and set up the new Ledger Live software to get all of this ready. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just plug it in here and start recording on the desktop as well so you can see the Ledger Live application in action and how we would approach setting up this kind of device. Okay, so I've just started off Ledger on the uh, desktop here. And on this device, we see, welcome to Ledger Nano S. We have the left and the right buttons on the top here. If we press the right, it's just gonna talk us through. Pressing left and right will go through. Pressing them both will validate. So it tells me to go to ledger.com forward slash start. I've already downloaded the Ledger application. Um, you can download it for Mac and for Windows. Just make sure you go to this exact address. Uh, if, if you don't, then you might not get the actual version of this. And again, it's really something that you want to take seriously. That This is basically money that you're playing with here. Um, so we want to set up a new device. I'm gonna double press to confirm. And we're going to choose a pin code. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you what my pin code is, but what we can do is just left and right to cycle through and then a double press to confirm. So I'm just gonna go off camera, set one of these now. Okay, so now I've set that pin, it's gonna ask me to just go ahead again and confirm it. it. This is just to make sure that you remember what you've set your pin as. Okay, so now we're getting into the more interesting bits. Um, it says, write down your recovery phrase. Now, this is gonna give me 24 words. I'm only gonna show you the first one here. Um, the rest of them I'm gonna write down off camera on my own. So this is where these sheets are gonna come in. So for each word, you're just gonna to wanna to write it down. I suggest writing it down on pen rather than pencil because pencil can smudge and get destroyed over time. So I'm gonna go off camera, write down these 24 words and then confirm them. Basically what it's gonna want me to do is I'm gonna write each of these down and then when I get to that 24 mark, we'll come back and we'll discuss how we're gonna confirm those 24 words. Okay, so now we've done that, it says press left to verify words. And what we're gonna be doing is just confirming that passphrase. These are gonna show you all of the words and you have to select them in the correct order, left and right, and then double press to select. I'm gonna do this off camera again because really important to get this right. Uh, so we'll jump back to this when it's done. Okay, so these 24 words are your only backup, okay? Keep them in a safe, secure place. Note them down with anyone. So we're gonna press double press when we're ready to continue, which we are. So it, what it's doing here is just processing everything in the background and getting us ready to go. What we can go ahead and do though is launch that Ledger app on our desktop and hit get started. Here we're obviously going to read and accept terms and conditions. This is something that I read earlier, um, so I'm happy to accept it. What we're gonna go ahead and do is select the Nano S. Your device is now ready. 
press the double buttons to enter the dashboard. So here we are, but we need to install some apps on here, um, and the Bitcoin app in particular, because that's what we're going to be touching. So first time using your Nano S, we're going to go ahead and set it up new. Accessing your crypto, own your private key, stay offline, validate transactions, let's set up your Nano. So this is the idea of this device. This device is your offline your offline version of your keys for whenever you're doing anything on Bitcoin. This thing never touches the internet. It doesn't have an internet connection outside of anything. And there is no way for this thing to connect to the internet. It only receives power via this USB port. That's it. So the best way to get started, set yourself aside 30 minutes. And what this is going to go ahead and do is just walk us through exactly what we've done here already setting up that pin code, which we've already done. We already know our pin. We're going to choose that pin code, which again, we've already done. And that recovery path and that recovery phrase we've also done. So we've gone ahead and confirmed that recovery uh, phrase and hidden it somewhere safe. Now, game on. OK. So this is going to ask you some questions uh, in a quiz style. Um, so we know that if you know Bitcoin at all, you'll know that any of your money is actually on the blockchain rather than kept on this device. So if my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, my crypto is no longer safe and I'll need to transfer it to a secure one. So th this is what we mean by you need to hide those 24 words. Th this is your way into this and to get your money. So finally, when I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline, briefly connected to the internet. It is still offline. So there we go. We're already a pro apparently. Um, thank you, Ledger. I, I feel like, um, I feel validated now. So this is gonna do a, genu uh, a genuine check just to make sure that the hardware on here is genuine. So it's asking me to allow the Ledger manager. I'm gonna press left and right at the same time. And we're all good. We've got a nice little firework there as well. Lovely. So we're all good. We're all set up and ready to go. What I'm going to go ahead and do is go down to the Manage tab. This is where we're going to choose which kinds of coins we want to put onto this thing. It's taken a little while, but we, of course, want the Bitcoin. This isn't the only cryptocurrency that I hold right now. But we can see a long, long list of all of the different coins that we can install onto this. I believe Dogecoin is on here, um, but I, I, as I noted earlier, I really highly suggest that you don't invest in Dogecoin. Um, Bitcoin is really the only one that's going to hold much value here, uh, I, I and many investors believe. So what we can go ahead and do now is the app has been installed, but we need to manage some accounts. So we're obviously going to want to add a Bitcoin account. We want to validate it by double pressing the up, uh, the left and right button. Application is ready. OK, that's all done. And we are syncing the accounts across. This could take a little while, but it shouldn't take too long. Here we go. So we have the SegWit and the native SegWit. And these are slightly different. Um, do make sure that you know the differences when you're setting these up. So I'm just going to go with the native SegWit and add that to my account. So there we go. It has zero Bitcoin on it. That is because all of my Bitcoin is held in crypto.com and I'm going to be moving it over in one second. But what is really um, key here is to make sure that you know what you're doing and you're sending it to the correct address. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is send over one pound's worth of crypto from my crypto.com account over to this wallet. We can do that in a number of ways. What I'm going to go ahead and do is click here and then we want to receive some Bitcoin. So we're going to be receiving it into our, seg into our native SegWit account. And the little ledger here is going to say, hey, do you want to open up the Bitcoin app? Of which, yes, we do. So we're going to select our left and right there. Now, we can do this in two different ways. I'm going to blur this. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is scan the QR code with my crypto.com app and send over one pound. So let's do that now and we'll show you just how easy that process is. You can obviously use the key down here and send it to someone. That's your um, public 
address or Bitcoin key, but I'm gonna use the QR code just because it's a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and do that and try and transfer one pounds worth of Bitcoin. Okay, so there we have it guys. It really is that simple to set up one of these hardware um, offline wallets. If you are in Bitcoin and you have any kind of substantial amount, I, I would even argue anything above maybe 100 or 200 pounds, it's worth having one of these. They're like 50 quid, but they are super duper useful for keeping your money safe and offline and away from prying eyes and hands of hackers. Anyway, guys, what did you think of this device? Did you have any problems setting this up? Have you got any questions regarding Bitcoin or how to use this device? If you do have any, just let me know down below and I'll be sure to try to answer them. If not, I'm sure I can point you in the right direction. Anyway, guys, if you found this video useful, then please don't forget to get subscribed down below, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.